Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, today we're testing out the Bravado Buffalo EVX. Alright. We're gonna go through everything. Performance, customization, armament, defensive capabilities, all that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of let you in right now. The Buffalo EVX, well, there are a couple of issues with it. There are a couple of design flaws. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's broken. Just that there's a few quality control issues that are a little disappointing, and that's definitely on Rockstar's end. All right, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Drop a like if you enjoy the video. Let's talk about the actual pricing. You can pick up the EVX for two million one hundred and forty thousand, and trust me, that's just the half of it. Okay, uh, you can upgrade the Buffalo EVX in your agency because you're able to add a Monitech upgrades. For example, you have the body armor for 142,500, all right? And then you go on, you just have your natural, regular type kind of upgrades, your cosmetics, your performance. And then yes, before we get there, you do actually have the availability to add HSW performance upgrades as well. I do like that Rockstar is putting this on the vehicles. However, it does make it much more expensive to maximize the efficiency and the performance out of your vehicles, all right? As you see here, you've got the remote control units for 223,250 or the missile lock-on jammer for 380,000 that you can add with the Imani Tech upgrades, all right? Now, moving on with the liveries, there are 11 different liveries. You have the white stripes, black stripes, classic stripes, classic racing livery. You have the Raga rum, the white camo, black camo. Welcome to the tribe. <laughs> Little hairball there. Uh, the no-go vodka racing, and then your sprunk racing. Got to have the sprunk on there, right? For sure. You got some louves that you can put on there as well. The louves. You can check those out. Several different types of mirrors that you can check out as well. And in addition, with the Amani Tech upgrade, you can add proximity mines, which will be slick mines, for $128,250. All right. Then moving on, you got just your regular standard, different types of colors you can add. You got your primary, your secondary. You can also change the trim color, which looks nice. There's also some different stitching on the interior, which is new as well. There is a couple of new features with this vehicle that we don't have with others, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, with your roofs, you have 14 different roof options. And I love that. When you spend millions of dollars on a vehicle, what's the one rule I have? If a vehicle is a million or above, it better have some good customization. If you're spending that much money, Rockstar, give us some good customization to make these vehicles more unique. I do like the spoilers as well. Very nice. You can check those out. And of course, you want to add those for traction that you have. Now, don't forget, after you leave the agency, you want to go down to the LS car meet because, again, you can put HSW upgrades on this vehicle as well. However, it is some sticker shock here. HSW upgrade, just to get in the door there, is going to cost you $1,344,250. And this will instantly boost up your top speed and your acceleration and give you access to other HSW upgrades as well. All right, so keep that in mind. It's <laughs> definitely expensive, but you do, this is the way to, to max out your performance. So you've got HSW brakes. You have HSW engine tuning as well. Uh, you also have an HSW style for cosmetics for your hoods, which kind of gives you that uh, marble finish. You have HSW liveries, the HSW racing, and then you also have the HSW elite. All right, so check those out. There's also a mode upgrade. This is basically like a transmission upgrade for the electric vehicles. And this is the first vehicle, the Buffalo EVX is the first vehicle to have this. That's pretty cool. So you have HSW sport mode, racing mode that you can add that'll also help out with your acceleration. You'll also have some HSW uh, spoilers and HSW suspension. All right, it is all wheel drive and that does make a major difference with the performance of this vehicle on a racetrack. All right, we'll talk about that here in just a moment. First up, let's talk about the top speed. The Buffalo EVX top speed straight line comes in at 130.17 miles per hour. That's actually very fast, very fast for the muscle class. There's a lot of other cars that are faster, but in the muscle car class, very good. The Buffalo STX, for example, the sedan comes in at 108.96 miles per hour. However, the Vigero ZX just screams down the track at 141.25 miles per hour. So yeah, the EVX is fast, but it's not going to be the fastest top speed straight line to some of the other muscle cars. But the big thing is how does it handle around the actual track? And I'm not going to lie, the EVX is good, but it is very tricky. 
It is an electric muscle car, right? So it does have a lot of acceleration, but teamed up with the all-wheel drive, and because this vehicle is a heavier vehicle, it does weigh more, it does give you a lot of understeer, but it will still kick out sometimes. So it is a little difficult, but this is going to be one of, if not the top performing vehicle around a track for the majority of tracks in the muscle car class. All right. Uh, yes, it is a muscle car, so it does pop a wheelie. Now, moving on to the defensive capabilities, this is where we will have a lot of promise, but we'll also have some of the issues with the actual vehicle itself. So it'll take 12 RPGs with a Monitech armor and 12 RPGs with a Monitech armor in RC mode, the remote control mode, right? In addition to that, if you do not have a Monitech armor, it'll still withstand six RPGs with full standard armor, but not the Monitech armor, right? But I would say it is worth it. The Buffalo EVX can withstand 12 sticky bombs, 12 grenade launcher rounds, and 20 homing rockets. So pretty stout right there indeed. Okay, and the majority of people are not going to be using homing rockets anyways, but yeah, 20 of them, that is substantial right there. Okay, now going on with the defensive capabilities, it'll withstand 30 explosive rounds from a Mark II pump shotgun, and then 40 railgun rounds. So, very good defensive capability right there indeed. All right. It'll also withstand 12 Mark II rockets. And then if you couple this with the, you know, anti-missile lock-on, the radar jammer, it's pretty solid. However, the Achilles heel is going to be the Kinjali. So, stay away if you see one of those in uh, free mode. Two rounds will drop the, uh, the EVX. It'll take 15 rounds from the F-160. Pretty much going to be any one of those uh, type of planes that have explosive ammo. However, this is one of the, some of the issues right here. There is no bullet resistant glass. I'm not sure if that was intended or if it's, you know, just kind of like a bug, but usually with a Monitech, the vehicles will have bullet resistant glass on there. However, the EVX does not. It does not have any kind of bullet resistant glass. And even with the lubes on, on the back window, it doesn't really give you any kind of defensive uh, from small arms fire either. Now, this is where the vehicle, the Buffalo EVX has some some actual issues. There appears to be a broken vehicle model. You're able to actually, there's several windows that are completely open where the headlights are and the taillights, and you can actually register hits on the character inside the vehicle. Now again, there's no bullet resistant glass, so that's not a problem. You can just, just shoot them right through the actual glass, but this is just kind of, you know, it's just, this is poor quality, right? I can actually shoot through the vehicle itself all the way through. There is no, the vehicle model has holes in it. It's got some Swiss cheese going on there. It's got holes in the actual vehicle panels itself. And so when you consider you fully maxed out this vehicle for performance and defensive uh, purposes, you know, you're dropping, you know, millions of dollars. You're over $4 million at this point. And the fact that I can just score a, a hit through your taillight is ridiculous. Even trying to take cover behind the car does not work. So and we tested it out with a Night Shark, and even though it will be more difficult to score hits, you can, you absolutely can. You can shoot somebody right through the vehicle uh, with like a Night Shark, any kind of vehicle that has you know machine guns on it. And you can see here the bullets are going through the front of the vehicle and exiting out the back, and they could score a kill on me right there. Again, this is going to be more difficult and rare, but it does happen. Now this is another issue as well. The armor seems to be inconsistent. With just one explosive round from the Mark II, I was able to destroy the actual EVX fully upgraded. So, uh, yeah, would I say, is, is it broken? No. Would I deter you from getting the vehicle? Probably not, no. But it is very expensive to fully max it out with HSW and Amani Tech. I do like that you can have both features, though, the performance and the defensive capabilities. But it's just poor quality control and assurance on Rockstar's part. You know, you expect to have a, a pretty you know, well-built vehicle for, you know, over $4 million. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like the vehicle? Have you purchased it? Will these issues and defects prevent you from purchasing the vehicle? Let me know what your thoughts are, all right? Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the Illustrious content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out, yeah.